Case Region Exposure, this is Rob and Blake Brown. We're out in the field. This week's guests include an interview with Big Al, musical guest Marty Peterson. We've also got another drink with Nolan and a fitness minute with Devery. This is fantastic cow footage, Blake. We should have an animal blooper sing. Blake's animal bloopers. Yeah, should we have a theme song? Animal bloopers, animal bloopers. This is Blake's animal bloopers. Animal bloopers. Welcome to Peace Region Exposure with Blake and Rob Brown. I'm your announcer Morgan. This episode's guests include Dyson Creek Busker, Big L as well as another drink with Nolan, another conversation with Portman, and music by Marty Peterson. And now on with the show. All right, Peace Region Exposure. Episode three, you made it. Thanks very much. Quite the explosive beginning there. Hopefully that's a segment that we can keep on trucking. Bloopers! Animal bloopers. So, Blake, who do we have as our main guests this episode? We have interview with Big Al and musical guest Modi Peterson. That's right. So we interview the street performing musician and then we've got original music from Marty Peterson from the film Sekunka, which is shot in northern British Columbia, based out of Poos Koopy, as a matter of fact. What's the name of Marty's song, Blake? Uh, Disturbing the Peace. Disturbing the Peace, absolutely. And of course, we've got segments that you know and love. Another drink with our friend Nolan over at Post and Row. Of course, actually about drinks as well with uh, Gridiron Fitness this week's Devery and, and Cameron over at Gridiron Fitness and a Fitness Minute. And in all kinds of conversations with Robert Portman and more. Peace Region Exposure, away we go! of Faces of the North. Of course, we've got Big Al here, local musician, performer. I actually met him, oh, geez, it's probably about five years ago now. He was actually busking downtown uh, during summer months, but talk to me about the life of a live musician. Well, I bus for a living now. Yeah. Ever since COVID hit, I've been busking for a living, and it's different when you've got to go. Well, and, and, and when we're dealing with exposure and Peace Region exposure in the North, Half of this year is not uh, inducive to summer weather and uh, you're fighting the climate when you're performing. Does things like wind and, and, and shielding and, and the location of a, a front space factor into where you're going to play when it comes to those winter climates? Certainly it does. Where, where I play and when really depends on the weather and the way the wind is blowing and just the conditions in general. And since you're out and it is, you know, you're meeting people that may not know they're walking into a concert or performance, do you get a lot of requests? Do you play favorites? Or, uh, I imagine you know, during the holidays, Christmas tunes are more popular than during the hot summer months. Absolutely. Like, you're going to get requests for, for a lot of stuff. You know, my opening line is, I'll play your favorite song. Or do you have any requests? And so certainly I get a lot, but 
most people's requests, if they can come up with a request off the top of their head, it's the same three dozen songs. Okay, yeah, so sorry, you get stumped with somebody who hits you with... Occasionally deep, deep I do. cuts of Deep Purple or something. Else. See, people ask, what's your favorite song? And then you bust into whatever you like, or...? <laughs> I've got a favorite that I call my favorite song. <laughs> and, and not to get into, you know, the rate of pay or anything like that, but are there certain milestones as far as, um, oh, that's, this is a good day as far as a, a rate of pay for the amount of time you're putting in? Absolutely. If I make more than I would at a regular job, if it's more than, say, I would make at work, that work hourly like a job, job yeah. then I call that a good day. Go. Or for the hours, if I only go out for two hours, but I make a lot in that two hours, well, then I call that, I call that productive. And, and, you know, obviously, it's like a big fish. All of a sudden, somebody drops one of them, uh, one of them folding pieces of money in. Do you call it a day then, or do you know I was putting it in an eight hour times. shift? Yeah. There's times, yeah, yeah. there's times. It depends find on that the money day. in the coach. Yeah. That's decided on a case by case basis because those tips do come. People will come and say, Look, I, I hear you all the time. I never have any money, but I love your work. So here's a big fat tip. <laughs> one, one thing that is uh, going on and, and bringing it back to the, the exposure a little bit is the gal's writing some tunes uh, that you've probably heard on the segments or in between segments or at the intro. Talk to me about uh, some of those and where some of those ideas have come from, just some of the original songs you've got. The original songs I wrote are usually about the personal experience that I've had, the places that I've been. Uh, one of them is Dead Town. Everyone asks me, what, the, what town is Dead Town? Is it my town, your town? It's, it's almost like Springfield. It's any town that's dying. And I wrote that song for, and Dead Town was a working title because I can't think of a name for a dying town. <laughs> oh, Very good. So, Big Al, local musician, if you see this and you see him out and about, you'll play your favorite song. How do you get banned from the strip club? How do you get banned from no, the strip club? No, I'm not in the strip club. Oh, well, that's the only one then. But, like, how do you get banned from the liquor store? Well, they're all. <laughs> open this bear and having some display of the Kentner boy all over the dock again. Welcome to the witches' playground! Keep what happened that? to the witches? Witches! I know! I know! What are you, Savage Garden? Close the valley! Close the valley! Something going down here at mile zero. Let's do some good. Let's kill this thing. But let's shop local. Will you close the valley? This ain't no bear we've been chasing. There's been an attack in the forest and an epidemic of missing dresses from the museum. Reports of a local peeper and more news next hour. Cut Thumb FM. Here we go. Showtime. Cameras. Cameras. Press the buttons. Cue some stuff. Drums. I want drums. Don't fall coming down that hill. Too early on the witches. Too early on the witches. I said, hold off on the witches. I will tell you when it's time for witches. Stay out of the forest. It's a slaughterhouse. <laughs> you don't know me, but I'm your brother. Hi there, Rob Brown here, and this is Peace Region Exposure. And what Peace Region Exposure is all about is people, places, art, artisans that I find fascinating. I'm crunching down here. Is there any way we can raise the legs on that or something? Uh, I, I can pick it up. Hi there, Rob Brown, and this is Peace Region Exposure. And what Peace Region Exposure is all about is people, places, things, art, artisans that I find fascinating. Peace Region Exposure. Here we are, uh, Minute Fitness at Gridiron once again with Devery Gibson. What are we talking about this week? Shakes, is that right? Yeah, we're going to talk about some protein shakes. So, Very cool. This is my favorite uh, shaker cup. Um, 
great way to mix up um, some different shake varieties. So you can totally add uh, fruits and vegetables into your shakes, getting those um, minerals, micronutrients that your body needs, especially when you're working out. Um, and like I said, you can add veggies in there, but cover it up with some fruits, um, different kinds of protein powders, um, just to make it a little bit more flavorful, especially if you're not a person that really likes to sit down and eat a bowl of veggies or eat like fruits or anything like that. So. Protein shakes are a great option um, for you in that sense, but also a nice quick and easy option for before or after the gym to get um, some nutrition in. Very cool. We're going to be talking about fitness tips each segment, each episode, each time you tune in. So join us each week. Okay, action. There you go. Hey, thanks, Patty. I didn't know. Listen, this festival's in full swing now, so you're gonna let her and him and me gather up these bears and kill them. I don't know. I'm only in this for the people of our community, for the valley. There's a party in the valley where the kids always play. A river runs through.
camera hot? Got it, man. God damn right it is. Whew. Not the right bear, you idiot. Okay, gentlemen, anytime you're ready. Okay, here we go. Hot oh, damn, eh? <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Yep, anytime. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll just let it roll. Yeah. Another fantastic episode of Peace Region Exposure has come to a close. What a fantastic tune by our friend Marty Peterson. What was it called again there, Blake? Disturbing the Peace. All right. You may recognize uh, some smaller stars of that video, of course. And as well, who else do we have to thank? Uh, Big Al. For the chat, you bet. And of course, our segments, mm -hmm. Devery, Nolan. Mr. Portman. I always wonder where the next episode and the next adventure is going to bring us. Here we go. Peace, region, exposure. We're on our way. Yep. Well, it's always amazing how these calls come in right when we need them for the episode. Yep. And away we go. Shorty, grab our stuff. Blake and Rob Brown. I'm your announcer Morgan.